Um, hello guys, this is Paleo 101 where we talk about fossils, minerals, and everything recorded in the Earth's rocks. Well, today I had an amazing package come to me yesterday. Um, they were fossils from the Coon Creek Ripley Formation. And these were really, really amazing fossils. These date back around 70 million years old to the upper late Cretaceous period, Menestrichian stage. And these fossils are absolutely beautiful. They consist of invertebrate fossils, such as mollusk, shells, and even a couple of crabs from this formation. It is a superb formation. And so I will show you some of the fossils that are found in the Coon Creek Ripley Formation. So these are just a couple of amazing fossils that I was able that I was able to receive from a fossil friend of mine. And they're absolutely amazing and beautiful in preservation. The soft sediments are green because of the glauconitic uh, sediments that um, are found in the sediments. And that's an aminoid right here, which is a piece of a aminoid. Absolutely beautiful. These are the crab. No, no, this is the vaculite. This is a baculite specimen. And so these consist of basically of shells and mollusks. That's a really beautiful specimen. And here are another beautiful specimen. This is Cuculea. And here are the, the crab fossils I was talking about. These crab carpuses. So these were all found in Cretaceous marine sediments, and even Mosasaurus and Plesiosaurus have been found in the Coon Creek Formation. And these are the only vertebrate, um, invertebrate fossils that have been, excuse me, vertebrate fossils that have been discovered, specifically rem um, containing the remains of Plesiosaurus and Plesiosaurus, uh, Plesiosaurus and Mosasaurus. No dinosaurs have been found in the Coon Creek Formation, but in the Ripley Formation there has been hadrosaur remains. But these are just amazing, beautiful fossils. Great collection. Very lucky to have these.